faith watchers welcome back to faith family and fun reviews if you're new here on this channel i share with you delightful family friendly and faith-based movies and television shows so yes y'all faith watchers out there it is that time of year we are getting closer to the holidays and i had to share this film with y'all i know i'm quite a little bit early but i just couldn't help myself okay <laughs> yes i got slowly um just kind of like um drawn into these little films y'all know i just y'all seen the thumbnail okay i just could not help myself okay you talking about cupcakes and then like christmas cupcakes <laughs> i'm like oh this is so adorable and y'all know them holiday films they just so heartwarming like seriously y'all it just puts you in that good mood and remind you that there are really good people out there there still are even though it's hard to find but they're out there and so that's why one of the reasons why i just love this and i was like i just had to share it with y'all so y'all bear with me okay <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and get started with our special feature today, which is titled Christmas Cupcakes. You can actually find this film streaming right now for free on YouTube. But first, let me tell y'all what this film is about. Two sisters enter a TV baking contest in a last ditch effort to save the family bakery. Now, I just love the overall objective to this film. Well, um, the characters here, the sisters here, um, Kim and Gina. I love that they just had, a, yes, they had a, a, an objective that wasn't necessarily about them. I'm just like over the selfishness, y'all. I mean, it's so easy to be thinking about ourselves, especially when it comes around this time of year. Think about what you want what would make you happy all that kind of stuff it's easy to see yourself but every time looking at yourself every, all the time you always got to be about you okay do it <laughs> and this film just remind me of that with these two sisters these two lovely sisters here who are very close we can tell but we can also tell that gina and kim did have some little um little things that kind of just like bothered them the things like kind of nitpick at you and you may feel like okay you know when you're grown certain things you just gotta let go from your past okay like seriously you, you you just can't hold on to everything it's like people be looking at you like what's wrong with you why are you still mad about something that happened in third grade okay <laughs> and so you get that kind of vibe from um um gina and kim forgive me y'all have to keep looking at me so i don't get them confused but yeah gina is the younger sister and you can tell she more so have a lot of that going on a lot of different things that she's still dealing with from her past especially since she was a little girl just feeling like she's not enough feeling like a failure in a sense because life just didn't turn out the way that she hoped by the time that she hoped it would i mean we all been there we had our dreams our goals that we felt like we would accomplish i'm gonna do such and such by the time i'm 21 i'm gonna do such a by the time i'm 18 or whatever we all had those things and it just felt like especially around that time or if you're there right now it probably feels like it is so easy to accomplish like all i had to do is this or that you don't even have like a whole laid out plan in detail but you know okay it's it, it's gonna happen for me and then when that season has passed it just leaves you a little bit confused you don't necessarily know why what happened where did i go wrong why did i on take that turn right there when i could have stayed over here and all these kind of different things that you just kind of start to reflect back on and i felt like gina here did do that she was struggling with that a lot her sister her older sister kim did not know that kim is the older sister and she she does have her head on a little bit straighter because she does i believe because she does have a child a teenage daughter and she's just like she just has that more where she th like that more like left brained excited person like logic you know running a business doing all those kind of different things not so much like what a person may call talented but you are a person that just gets it done you know the layout you have the blueprint you are that kind of person that just kind of follows through on different things and it's the brain of the operation so you don't necessarily need talent a person may say because you are so like a b c d and that's just how you move and that is kim here more so than her sister her sister is more just something where a person may call oh that's talent and nowadays i remember back in the day when you're talented a person may be like wow that's so cool you see all these different wonderful things that you especially when it just seemed like you were just born with it you didn't even have to work at it or work for it it's like wow that was so like amazing to people back then but nowadays it's like 
people are more about they say business and that talent only gets you so far it is not even the biggest thing anymore because you have so many different people out here who don't even necessarily have talent and yet they are um bringing in the big bucks they are doing their thing and, and it is mostly because maybe because of who they know or the fact that they just kind of learn how something goes and they know how to get it done they know how to manipulate the system or whatever in the case may be but nowadays you don't necessarily see people who are relying more so on talent and people don't even necessarily like praise it or embrace it anymore it doesn't necessarily open doors for you as much as it did back in the day and I can see where Gina is coming from because she does feel like she didn't ask for what she may be good at and she happened to be good at um baking her father was a baker her family owned this bakery has been in the family for um a time now as far as all she knew and um sometime recently her dad has passed away so there the family is dealing with the heaviness of that and then on top of that their dad left them in so much debt that they had no clue about they had no idea how much this bakery has been suffering it's been hurting and only thing i could think about because it would leave a person maybe to feel upset about it and i like that the daughters here they wouldn't necessarily like angry with your dad who is no longer here like how could you just do this how could you just leave them with so much to take care of here that wasn't the way the route that they went which I was very very grateful for because all I kept thinking when I find that out with the characters here is the fact of that obviously your dad this was his dream this was his baby this was the heartbeat of the family and he was doing everything that he could to hold on to the dream he wasn't willing to give it up he was fighting to keep this in their family. This was their legacy. This is what he wanted to leave to his daughters here and his wife. And that's what I kept thinking about. And I like that the girls here kind of took that approach as well because even though they were living their lives and now life has come to a stop, a halt here and they have to make some decisions. They're back home and they're starting to think about things. They're processing things and they're allowing themselves to put themselves in their dad position and even in their mom position, like how hard their, their parents had worked all of these years. And sometimes when you're kids, you don't necessarily think that because your parents hide that from you as they should. That is not a child's responsibility or place to have that on them, thrown on them like that. So you don't know what it's like to be adulting out here until it's your time to do so. And here it is their time. And I like that they are um, reflecting, they're sitting still, they're really allowing themselves to process things and look at their lives. For example, Gina was working for a boss who was just such a pain, y'all. A boss who was so selfish. A boss that remind me of the um, times that we're living in now. Like when her dad unfortunately had passed away, her boss was like, looked at that as an interruption. Like how could you basically leave the job here for that time like you're interrupting their life you're interrupting the business with having gone home to deal with all the preparations of you know that thing that's just happening in her family and it was just so heartbreaking that her boss looked at it as such as this as her the passing of a family member as a distraction as if you caused this as if it's your fault that this is happening there are things in life that happen that we have no control over that is just a part of life and we're supposed to be sympathetic empathetic towards these things and be an encouragement be that you know rejoice with those who rejoice we with those who we, we're supposed to be that in that moment and her boss was just like looked at it as if like this is my money this is my business and this is interrupting my flow this interrupted my bag and i was just like i really felt some kind of way about that i was like seriously but it does remind me of the times that we're living in now that everybody most people i'm not gonna say everybody forgive me but most people are just chasing these things that are temporal these things that don't matter the love of money is just crazy out here like is it really that serious to the point where people don't even matter anymore that we forgot what it's like to be human what it is like to feel what it is like to walk with those who are going through it and i was just i like i said i really felt some way about this boss and i understood gina in this moment that hit her in that moment like seriously because sometimes you get lost in a job and feel like okay like i gotta pay my bills i gotta have keep a roof on my head i gotta do these different things and you allow yourself to be treated 
in a way that is less than and all kind of different things just because you're like i have to provide especially if you not only providing for yourself but providing for someone else others you have dependence and different things and sometimes you feel like you just have to put up with whatever you have to put up with and gina felt that way for so long to the point where even her sister was like okay why don't you just go back to your job like her job was so important to her and it was just that she was trying to survive she was just trying to keep her head above water like most people are doing but we tend to forget that that, hey you are human you are love you are precious and you are the apple of god's eyes all right is it really god's plan for you to just take this to be treated in this manner on a regular basis you know what i'm saying and gina had to walk herself through those different emotions especially when her boss had that talk with her i believe it hit her in that moment like hey this this ain't right or seriously my dad i just lost someone that was very very special you know and i, I was just like i felt her in that moment of course we stand away from spoilers but yes y'all this film does make you reflect on the different things of just what it's like to just live and what is truly important and that we can't lose sight of ourselves we can't lose sight of god and we can't lose sight of people at the end of the day we need each other we just can't be so wrapped up in ourselves in our own world that we just forget that other people matter you're not the only one on earth okay you're not the only one that may be going through it like seriously and that's what i was thinking about the sisters here and i love the fact that they do have the um men certain things and i i really enjoyed that walking with them through this journey of like really looking at each other they always been sisters but really looking at each other not only as sisters but as women as human beings like hey sis this hurt me this really affected me this really bothered me and just going through that and i love that they did this and all the while they trying to save this bakery and they have to put all their feelings aside put all their own little concerns and all the minor dreams aside because it is about the family here and that is what i really appreciate not to mention y'all cupcakes christmas cupcakes and that okay we're gonna see a lot of delightful treats in here and i know it's that time of year like some of y'all can just start to you know don't don't eat too much okay don't get too caught up in it, all right? You can, you can taste a little here and there, but come on now. We still, we still got to do things in moderation, all right? I'm not encouraging just to just go all out and just eat yourself away, you know? But yes, you're going to have so much fun just watching the way that they all make the preparations of the different breads, the cupcakes, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be so much fun and just so delightful savory y'all okay <laughs> but once again this film is titled christmas cupcakes you can find it streaming right now on youtube and we're gonna go ahead and get into our scripture before i leave y'all for this evening and we're coming out of let's see here what we got what we got proverbs 19 1 and it reads better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool that's all I have for y'all for this video. Please remember to leave your thoughts, your prayers, your overall take in the comment section below because I do read them and I do enjoy hearing from you all. And as always, you never know what your words can do for someone else. It can truly change someone's life and encourage them. So I always encourage you to just drop those type of things in the comment section below. So until next time, may the Lord bless and keep you both now and forevermore.